Hello, hello, and this is Mazu Mashia from Percolation Gaming, and today we are bringing you another Man vs. Machine tutorial. By request, we are going to be showing you Mr. Soldier. Now, we started in kind of coming a little late here. This is a fresh game, and they are virtually almost done, but luckily enough for us, there isn't really too much to say about the soldier. It's, it basically just sticks to the pretty original gameplay. I mean, just shoot, shoot, shoot. No real special tactics you have to know. Just kind of rocket jump your way around to different things and objectives. Lead shot your rockets, of course. Don't aim right at people, please. It, it doesn't work. Unless you have, like, the direct hit or something, then go for it. When it comes to loadouts, uh, just stick to default, really. The vanilla rocket launcher, or you can kind of go with the black box if you want. But personally, I'm pretty fond of having that extra rocket. I know it's kind of a hotly debated gun, so you might not want to do that, or you may want to. Who knows? Yes, look at my fail rocket jumps. They're amazing. Award-winning, dare I say. I don't know, there's just something about rocket jumping that I can't do. Just don't know, man. So, besides the vanilla rocket launcher, you kind of want to stick to the buff banner. I mean, the shotgun's nice and all, but the buff banner is quite a game-changer. I mean, once you have that the little upgrade for it maxed out. I believe the buff banner lasts for about 15 seconds. So that's 15 seconds of mini crits. Or about like 3 to 4 clips of rockets. It's definitely worth getting. Especially when it's kind of paired up with a crit canteen. It's just the bee's knees. There's no other way to have it. As for melee weapons, eh. The equalizer works, or you can just go with that the little tassel that kind of makes your teammates go faster. Helps quite a bit too. As for upgrades, you just basically want to stick to ammo capacity and clip size, as they will be making the largest difference. Just at least one or two in each, and then kind of start going off into other areas of things. Fire rate and reload speed are your bread and butter. Just like every class, really, they make all the difference. And eventually, once you get those maxed out, just go with rocket damage. It's the way to go. Rocket damage and projectile speed. You'll be pretty much unstoppable. But once you start getting those high firing speeds and projectile speeds, that's when you'll kind of start wanting to put a, just a little bit more in ammo capacity because you will be shooting out like 20 rockets in just a couple seconds so unless you feel like running to a little ammo kit every five seconds just go with ammo capacity that'll help you quite a lot as for kind of enemy priority it's standard really I mean Always go for the bomb, don't get sidetracked by random crap. The larger robots are kind of a hassle, so since you're a range class, obviously you should not be really all that close to them. Especially since you have no way to deflect them like the heavy or the pyro. It's just no good. Snipers, if you can take care of those pesky guys, then please do. They kill everyone. They are a complete nuisance. We have the last wave. Oh man, it's about to get real. Got a lot of scoots. Some tanks. And all that. Now there's one thing you can do differently, and that is... Once you kind of get to the tank phase of things, just kind of shoot yourself with a few rockets. And pull out your equalizer, and you will see a dramatic boost in damage, of course. Pretty amazing stuff. If you feel like you have nothing else to spend your points on, then by all means, put a few points up in melee weapons. It'll make the difference. I mean, you'll already be doing like, uh, probably 150, 160 a hit 
provided that you're low on HP with the equalizer or the bloody pickaxe. Whatever. It'll always forever be the equalizer to me. So once that's taken care of, it's pretty easy to go. No problems there. But, like many other games, we kind of get stuck on the fact that there's a major league scout. And he's bad news bears. Fortunately, he died, though. And I crater myself. Yeah, don't do that. Another thing to take into consideration is kind of resistances. Seeing as how the primary means for getting around a map for a soldier is rocket jumping, you should probably consider at least one point in blast resistance, seeing as how it'll help you quite a bit. It'll take a lot less damage from shooting yourself continuously with rockets. Big improvement in mobility. And then you don't have to worry so much about health either. But this time we're prepared. Scouts go down. And I unfortunately taunt. Taunt my enemies. That'll make them regret their horrible actions. But there goes the scout again. Though he died just in time. So thank goodness for that. Because that would have just been terrible. Another loss to the same thing. What you want to try and do with the Major League Scouts are basically just target them first. I mean, I know it's kind of hard to do with the sentry guns since they kind of just shoot whatever they want. There is no rules when it comes to them. Provided, unless, of course, you have the Wrangler. So, I mean, I guess there's that too. But always target the Major League Scouts as they will ruin a game for you pretty much instantaneously. That way, the heavier units that move a lot slower will already have the bomb. And you don't have to worry about the scouts just kind of running across the map in about 0.5 seconds. It's the best way to go about things. Thinking back on it, I suppose the Liberty Launcher would be kind of a good choice as well. So you've got quite a few choices in the loadout, and really it just comes down to preference. Do you want the extra rocket? Do you feel like you're dying a lot? Maybe that extra HP on hit would help you? Who knows? Seeing as how you can probably, well, as you can, upgrade the clip size, I mean, I suppose it wouldn't really hurt all that much to just stick to going the black box. Seeing as how there is virtually no downfall to doing so. See, look how long that buff banner lasts. It's ridiculous. And then it only really takes a few seconds when you have everything all maxed out to get it back. Unfortunately, you don't get it back on tanks. Only actual units that kind of roam around. Which I don't really see the sense of, but I mean, whatever, I guess. Though I do kind of see the point when it comes to medics, seeing as how you could equip the amputator and then just pretty much fill up on uber charge immediately and have pretty much a permanent crit screek. So in that instance, I do see the point, but not so much solder. I mean, a buff banner is not going to break the game. Oh, well. Almost lost again to a scout. You guys are so pesky. And they just do not learn. Money drops. This is actually one of the instances where it's really not your responsibility to pick up money. I mean, if you see it, of course, go for it. Don't just completely ignore it like a tool. But you don't really have to prioritize it. You're not really that mobile a class in order to go around collecting every cash drop. Leave it for someone else. Preferably someone that's already up in a little front lines of things. There's no need for you to be there. Our second good rocket gump jump of the game. Thank goodness for that. Now going back a bit on upgrades, I mean, let's talk about resistances for a bit. Seeing as how you kind of are a backlines class, there's no real need for you to worry about resistances all that much. 
you should not really be getting hit all that much aside from maybe a stray rocket or something like that. There's always a way for you to get on a roof and there's always a way for you to be out of the way. So if you're going to get anything, just stick to blaster instances. Otherwise, you should be relatively fine. You shouldn't be getting hit all that much. And yeah. Health regen, it's not really that large a deal. Don't worry about it. Now, as for canteens, just stick to crits. I mean, Uber is kind of useful. But again, you really shouldn't be getting hit all that much in the first place. And the return home canteen, you can just rocket jump there. Sweet victory at last. So there you have it. The soldier is pretty straightforward. Not too much you need to know. Just stick to upgrading your launcher, the buff banner, and rocket jumping around the map. Use that mobility to your advantage. Canteens, just stick to crits. Buff banner is your best friend. This has been Mazamashia from Percolation Gaming, and I will see you guys next time.